The Secret Move, La Bota Segreta. People talk about it a lot, but is there even such a thing? I'll tell you the secret. La Bota Segreta. People often use that expression to describe three very different things. The secret move, the surprise move, and the unscrupulous move. Now, the secret move is a move that nobody knows but you. A surprise move is a move that nobody knows is coming but you. An unscrupulous move is a move that everyone knows that no one should ever do. Let's take a look at the last one first because it's the easiest. Often referred to as the coup de jarnac, the unscrupulous move is one that is unethical unprincipled, unconscionable, immoral, merciless, decadent, depraved, according to Roger. It's a move that violates your code of honor. And of course, if you don't have any honor, that's no obstacle. Let's take a boxing match as an example. In boxing, there are certain things you just don't do. You don't hit below the belt. You don't thumb, you don't rabbit punch, you don't elbow, you don't headbutt. You sure as hell don't bite the other guy's ear. You don't do these things even if your opponent does do them. In fact, the dirtier your opponent fights, the more important it is for you not to reciprocate. If you despise your opponent for using dirty tricks, if you do them too, then you've just become the very thing you despise. Losing a fight ain't the end of the world. Losing yourself is. Now, you might think that's obvious and indisputably self-evident, you know, just sitting here talking just between us mice. But it's a very tempting Faustian trap that's disturbingly easy to fall into, and a lot of otherwise good people do. I recommend you don't be one of them. Now, the secret move, the true bota segreta, it's a secret attack that will enable you to defeat any opponent, every opponent, every time, no matter how big your opponent is, no matter how strong, no matter how skillful. <laughs> now, a secret is a secret when only two people know it, and one of them is dead. So by definition, a bota segreta is something that you know that nobody else knows. In other words, in the whole long and bloody history of the sword, and with all the countless people who have lived and died by it, your secret move has to be something no one else has ever done, has ever tried, has ever thought of. That's a higher bar than a gin joint at the summit of Mount Everest. La Bota Segreta is like the holy grail of the sword. Some folks have been looking for it for a long, long time, and they haven't found it yet. But why? What, what's the attraction? Why would somebody want to learn a secret move? Well, maybe they want to feel like they're special. They're among the chosen few. They're in with the in crowd, daddy-o. They're the enlightened. Maybe they're too physically or psychologically or spiritually lazy to put in the effort required to achieve excellence. They want to be envied and emulated. They just don't want to have to work for it. They want their money for nothing and their chicks for free but you can't get there from here. Underneath it all, I think there's something else. My old man was something of a mechanic. He played a lot of poker. He always said, when you know you have a winning hand, you don't have to cheat. If you're looking for a way to cheat, then you don't believe you have a winning hand. Now, a secret move is basically a way to cheat. So if you're looking for that bolta segreta, it's because you don't believe you can win without it. You don't believe in your own strength, your own courage, your own skill. You're looking for something else to believe in, something you can trust. Now, you're not alone. <laughs> There's this guy, see, first time on an airplane, going over the ocean. He's wearing a little gold chain around his neck, and on that chain he's got a cross and a Star of David and a crescent, and a pentacle. And the flight attendant comes over and says, excuse me, sir, but what religion are you anyway? He says, well, down there, I'm an atheist, but up here, 
I ain't taking no chances. There's no secret, trick, hack, shortcut, or magic word that will enable a man who is weak and cowardly and unskilled to beat a man in a fight who is strong and courageous and highly skilled. Instead of squandering your time hunting for a boat de segreta, I recommend you invest that time in cultivating your strength, skill, and courage. If you don't find excellence in yourself, you're not going to find it at all. That brings us to the surprise move. What move is that? Well, every move you do should be a surprise. It should be completely unexpected. Your opponent should never see it coming. Now, how do you do that? Well, you must become unpredictable. You must become a master of the illusion. You have to be in complete control and then you have to let go. You must be in the moment. You must be without prejudice or presumption or preconception, without fear, without anticipation. Your opponent doesn't know what you're going to do next because you don't even know yourself until you do it. You have to be as shapeless as water, as invisible as the wind. You're not doing, daddy -o. you're just being. And when you're in that place, it's almost like being in a state of grace where the impossible becomes possible. While we're at it, I want to mention one other thing. Let's call it a variation on the surprise move, although this one may not be a surprise at all. We call it the coup de maître. This is the move that you do best, and it's the move that you do better than anybody else. And it doesn't even matter if your opponent knows it's coming, because you do it so well, there's not a damn thing he can do about it. It's the move you can hit anybody with one time, and you only need one. It's the perfect move, done at the perfect time, and done perfectly. I can't tell you what move that is, because it's different for everybody. The sword will tell you, though, if you listen to her. The bad news is, there isn't any bote segreta. The good news is, you don't need one. All you need is desire, knowledge, and effort. But you do need desire, knowledge, and effort. Any good swordsman will tell you, there's no such thing as a free lunge. <laughs>